girls and boys, it is Mr. McAndrew with you today. Very excited um, because we aren't just going to be counting numbers. We're going to be comparing them. And right now, I'm especially excited because I'm going to teach you a new game. It's called Tower of Power. Why is it called Tower of Power? Mostly because it's an awesome name, but we're going to be building towers. So there's that too. Okay. So let me show you how this game works. So in your math packet, can you take out this piece of paper and like um, carefully take it out of the math packet? It's called Tower of Power, okay? And it says, watch the video with Mr. McAndrew to learn how to play. It has more and less words on it. So this is the paper that you need, okay? So pause the video if you need to, take that out, and then I'll show you what else you need to play the game, okay? All right, so are you guys ready? All right, so you need this paper, okay? You also need, um, like you've used before, your dry erase um, sleeve that looks like this, and I'm gonna put the Tower of Power paper inside of it. And remember, sometimes it helps to now slide your hand in there. You might need help to do this. But if you slide your hand in there, turn it around so it's right side up. Okay, so now it's on the, it's in the dry erase sleeve so that, so that if I write on it, right, I can erase. Okay, so it should look like this. Okay, all right. So what else do you need? Let me show you and then you can get it, okay? You also need um, your cubes, your connecting cubes that look like this. You should have 10 of each color. Your colors might look different from mine. That's totally fine, it doesn't matter. But you'll have two different colors, um, 10 of each, so you need these. And you need, uh, from last week, you need your dot cards um, that look like this, okay? And, you, and they, they need to be cut out. You should already have them. Um, if for some reason you can't find them, um, I will include uh, more of them in the math packet just in case, okay? And what you want to do is you want to shuffle them up, okay? And then, of course, anytime we have the dry erase uh, sleeve, we also want our, uh, where did I just put it? Um, here it is, dry erase marker and eraser. Okay, so once you have those things, then you are ready to go, okay? So if you need to pause the video right now, that's fine. Do that, and then come on back when you're ready. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, so let's get started. Let's put our cubes off to the side for a minute, okay? We don't need those yet. The first thing we need are the dot cards. So I'm gonna turn them upside down so I can't see them, and just shuffle them around. <clears throat> shuffle, 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 okay? And now I'm going to pick two, all right? Without looking, I'm just going to pick two. And I'm going to put one down here where it says dot card number one. And I'm going to put the other one over here, okay? All right, so I'm going to shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I'm going to put this one over here. All right, so now we have two dot cards. So right now, boys and girls, just watch what I'm doing. You don't have to do it yourself. Just watch me so you learn how to play. Okay, so I have two dot cards, one here and one here, All right? So now I'm going to count how many I have. So on this one, I have one, two, three, four dots. So I'll write that down, four dots. And over here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. So I'm going to write that down. So more practice with our writing numbers, okay? So now this is the fun part. <clears throat> I'm going to build one of the towers um, to, with, with four cubes, okay? And the other tower I'm going to build to be seven cubes. So I'll show you this one first. So I'm going to count four. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, and break that off, okay? I'm going to stand that up here. So you can see that I have four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and over here, I'm gonna make a tower of seven cubes. Okay, so I'm gonna count seven. I can count from the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then I break that off. Okay, so now I have seven cubes here and four cubes here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this is the fun part. I put them up next to each other like this. Okay? Tower of power. Now, it's hard for you to tell because of the angle of the camera, but which one do you think is bigger? Which one do you think has more? So if I lay them down, it'll be easier for you to see. You can easily see that the tower of seven is more than the tower of four. Or you could say the tower of four is less than the tower of seven. Okay? So when you do it, though, you can, you can do it this way, but I'd like you to stand them up like this because then you know they start at the same point and you can really tell, oh, yeah, yep, this one's bigger. It's, it's greater than, the seven is greater than four. It's three greater, so we know that's, that's more. So then what you'll do, boys and girls, the last thing is under the four, since it's less than seven, we're going to circle less. Can you, do you see how the word less is even smaller than the word more? That's because less means less than or means, uh, means not as much as, right, the other amount we're talking about, which is the seven. So there's the seven is more than four. So we're going to circle less here and more here. Okay? All right, let me do another one to make sure you understand what we're doing because there's a lot of steps to this game. As fun as it is, it does have steps. Okay, so let's try another one. All right, so I'm going to clear out my cubes, okay? And I'm going to take these off and put them at the bottom of my pile. And I'm going to erase this so I can do another game, okay? All right, so let me get my pile of dot cards. All right, so I'm going to put down one card. I can turn it whichever direction I want. I like doing it that way. And I'm going to put down another card. Okay? So what's the next thing we do? We have to find out how many dots there are. So let's count. How many dots are there on this side? Can you show me number of fingers? Are you showing me six fingers? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? And how many dots on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six. Also six. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the towers, right? That's what we do. So we want to take our we want to take our cubes and count out six. So let's say I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to break this one off. So I have six here. Okay. I'll put this on right here. I have six here. And I'm also going to count out six of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I take off the rest so I don't have more than six. I just have exactly six. Okay, so on this side I have six. And on this side I have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then you want to stand them up. Okay, now if you stand them up, what you're going to notice, okay, if I lay them down to show you, that they are exactly the same height. One is not more than the other. That word in math is called, they're the same or equal. Okay, so they are equal. Six is equal to six. Same number, same height, right? Two towers of power. Nobody is like bigger than the other one. So what we do in this case, boys and girls, is you'll see in the middle, there's the word equal. That means equal. That those This sign right here, you see two lines on top of each other, right? Go like this. That's an equal sign. That means the same. So we have right, more, more, less, equal. All right, want to do that with me again? More, less, equal. Okay? So in this case, we would just circle equal. All right? And then... We're done with that. So we know that six is equal to six. Okay. So if you understand how to play the game, great. You are good to go. 
Um, play it, you know, maybe like five or six, seven times, okay, the way I did it. If you still want one more example, then um, hang tight for a second and I'll give you, I'll show you one more example, okay? All right, so if you are sticking with me, then we are gonna do one more example together. I'm gonna erase this, okay? I'm gonna do a little bit faster. I'm gonna put my cards at the bottom and now I'm gonna, now I can shuffle anytime I want, but I, I'm okay, I'm just gonna flip this over. Ooh, this is a big one. And I'm gonna flip this over. Whoa, look at this. Okay, so I have how many dots on this side? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And over here I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, some big towers. Okay, so on, I need to build one tower of seven cubes, right? So I'm gonna do that. I can start from the top or the bottom, doesn't matter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll break it off there. So I know that's seven. Okay, and over here I have nine. So I'm gonna start from the bottom this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I don't need that one up there. Okay, so you can see if I line them up that nine is more than seven. If you stand them up like this, you'll see the same thing. Nine is two more than seven. So we need to add two to seven to get to nine. Okay, but what, what I want you to know right now is that nine is more than seven. So what we would do is I would circle more over here because nine is more. And over here I would circle less because seven is less than nine and nine is more. So this side has more and this side has less. Okay, because this side has the nine, right? And this side has the seven. So that's why I circle more here and less here. All right, boys and girls, so have fun playing this game. Okay, remember to stand them up so you can see that, oh yeah, look at that. Nine is taller, bigger tower of power than seven. Okay, so sometimes seven will be less, right? And sometimes seven will be more, because what if, what if, boys and girls, what if the card I flipped over was this and it was a four? right? In which case I would have only shown four cubes. And now seven isn't less, it's actually more. Because seven is less than nine, but it's more than four. Okay, so it all depends on what numbers you get. All right, boys and girls, have fun doing this. Play, you know, five, six, seven times um, for, you know, maybe like 15, 20 minutes. Have fun with it and um, great practice of math skills. And uh, I'll see you soon. All right. Bye-bye.